So, what exactly is your view of science? Is it lots of daft men, like myself, in lab coats, wandering around laboratories doing daft experiments that realistically a lot of the time don't need doing? Or is it something entirely different? Or is your view something more like this? A scholarly gentleman sitting in a room with lots and lots of books forever reading and coming up with theories to explain things that he's read. Or perhaps it reminds you more of a field geologist, say, all ready to go out on an expedition to find the latest dinosaur or find some more data for those annoying climate records. Well, really, science is all of that, all mashed into one, and it's fantastic. I really do mean that. Science is fantastic. It's also all-encompassing. One of the tenets of science is that nothing is beyond study. Nothing is beyond study. Which is why uh, some of the religious amongst us have some problems with science, but that's another video. Science is the greatest endeavour that the human race has yet brought to this earth, or at least that's my opinion. But why do I hold that opinion? Well, mainly I think it's because of the immense and measurable improvements, measurable advantages that scientific endeavour has brought to the human race over the past 400 years. We now have aeroplanes, we now have uh, interplanetary spacecraft, we now have telescopes that can see beyond what our Mark I human eyeballs can see. We also have fantastic medicines that cure millions of people and prevent millions and millions of diseases and illnesses. And all of that, every single bit of it, has come from scientific endeavour, either as a completely separate entity or as a part of theological study and theistic religion way back when. And I'll happily acknowledge that. Science has such a good grip on physics that we can predict solar eclipses, we can predict the movement of the planets and to an extent of our solar system around the galaxy with a fantastic precision. We know that in a long period of time from now, I don't have the figures in my head right now, but uh, in a long span of time our galaxy is going to collide with that of the Andromeda Galaxy. That's fantastic. I mean, it won't be fantastic for us when we get there, but it's fantastic that we can predict these things. Science can demonstrate some of the most magical and wonderful things with pure mathematics. Now, I'm not a mathematician, and I'll be honest, I'm not very good at maths, but I understand that the language of mathematics can provide endless fantastic explanations for all manner of things in physics. But physics isn't the only part of science. Science encompasses everything from paleontology to archaeology to biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, although some people would disagree with me on that one. It includes aviation, it includes aeronautical engineering, it includes to an extent geography. It includes all manner of investigative endeavour from crime scene investigation right through to studying amoeba and how they move around in 
some form of primordial soup. In fact, in my own field, or at the very least what I hope will be my own field once I've graduated from university, paleontology, there has been a resurgence of interest in the last 10 to 15 years, and a lot of that is due to things like Jurassic Park coming into the cinemas and walking with dinosaurs on the BBC. But the pure amount of discovery in that period that covers the entirety of the geological time scale, some 4.5 billion years, is enormous. I have a stack of nature magazines over there, or journals, I should say. And at least every other one has an article about paleontology in it. And I find this to be glorious. This is wondrous. There is such richness in the literature that if you only went and looked, you would be amazed. And that is why science, in my opinion, is the greatest endeavour that the human race has yet lavished upon the planet. So tell me, what do you think?